In this video, I'm going to show you, uh, and this, by the way, is a continuation from the other videos. This is just a, uh, one of the other parts, but I'm going to show you how to set up uh, NetFlow data to be exported out of your 3850 switch onto your NetFlow analyzer, uh, whatever you use for NetFlow analyzer. In our case, I'm using Manage Engine's NetFlow analyzer uh, separate server to export all of our data. So um, for that, there's a script to make everything easier for us, rather than type every, typing everything. So um, this script here tells us that we're going to set up a NetFlow Analyzer uh, record, and I call it NetFlow Analyzer 1, and it's going to match, uh, it needs to have these, this criteria. So it matches the IP address, the source address, the destination address. Um, collects the counters, timestamps, so on and so forth. Once we, uh, once you set up the uh, flow record, you have to set up flow exporter, and you have to export it to the IP address of your server. In our case, it's the um, on the on the 30, 10, 10, 30 network. If you remember from other video, that's a server that I've set up for NetFlow Analyzer, and the source we're going to use is. Uh, VLAN 11, the primary VLAN, okay, and the port it uses is 9996. So we have to export it. Once you export it, then you have to monitor. So you, every 60 seconds, it's going to monitor and um, export data and refresh your server for you. Here we have, uh, and then you have to apply it to all the VLANs. And once you apply it to all the VLANs, then NetFlow will be set up. So I'm just going to copy all this, and this is really quickly and easy to do. So we're going to copy this. Okay, I'm going to come here. To configuration mode. Okay, I'm just going to paste all that in. That's it. Simple and easy. Now, if you bring up NetFlow Analyzer, it will go ahead and show you all the data that's being pulled over. Okay. That was simple and easy. Thanks for watching.